Hello everyone, welcome back to Talent Tech Solution interview questions. Today we are going to cover T fixed flow input versus T rule generator. So let's get on with it. The T fixed flow input. The T fixed flow input is a component that generates the row based on your input, whatever you have given in the job. But on the other hand, the T row generator, it can generate the rows on its own, right? It can create the test data for you based on the columns that you have given or the functions that you have used. So let's get on to talent and let's just try to understand what is the difference and what data we can get and generate from this. So let's first start with the T fixed flow input. So if you see the T fixed flow input, it has basically here three options. The first is use single table mode. So what you are going to do here is first step, you are going to put some column names Based on those column names, you can give single values to it. That's the first option of use single table. The output that you're going to receive from here is going to be exact one row with this exact data. If you keep here, let's say two rows, you are going to get two rows in the output with just the same data. The other option that you have in fixed flow is in line table. In this, what happens is it allows you to give more than one row, but you will have to add the rows like this and those will be the constant output that you are going to get. Again, if you say two rows here, you are going to get these two rows two times, the four rows you are going to get in the output. The last option that you have here is this. So again, here, what you can do is you can use a delimiter, a field separator, and then you can send that output here. So whatever you give here, that is what you are going to get in the output. Again, if you have two rows, so then these three rows will come output as two rows. So let's just quickly run this and see what you get in the output for T fixed flow. So what I have done here is right now I have chosen this option where I'm giving it as a delimited input and then I'm saying two rows. So two rows means this data will come two times in the output. So let's just quickly run this and check. So once we run this, see, you will see those same exact rows coming out two times, right? So that's the fixed flow. Whatever you're going to get in the output is already fixed by you here in the job. Okay. Now coming back to the row generator. So what row generator can do is a bit different. It can generate the number of rows that you want it to. So the interface here is like this. Once you double click on it, this will open up. Right. So what you can do is you can first set the columns that you want here, or you can directly do here in the row editor. You can add the column or remove the column. Now here, the extra functionality that you get is you can choose what function you want here. So let's say I want a sequence. So for that sequence, I can give a sequence as a function from the list of functions that I have here. And inside that, I can choose what is my start value, what should be my step. Then I can give first name. Again, for first name, I can use the talent data generator and get the first name. Then I can same use the same for last name. You have many more like US city, US state, US state ID, street ID, these can be created as an output. Then let's say for salary, if you want, what you can do is you can give a range. So the minimum range and the maximum range. This can be helpful for checking the edge case scenarios. Then let's say age, age also you can give the, man, uh, the minimum value and the maximum value by using the random in function, right? And then for date also you can use get random date function. This will give you the minimum and maximum option. And again, you can generate as many rows as you want in the output. So right now I have given here 10. When I run this, I'll get 10 rows in the output. So it will generate the data from me for me from its own, right? You are not giving any input here. You are just giving the functions that you want. So if you see, it has given me the complete output, right? So that's the basic difference between fixed flow and row generator. Row generator will generate the rows for you and n number of rows you want. Fixed flow will only give you the rows that you have given in the output based on the number of rows that you have provided here. Okay, so that's the basic difference between these two. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you.